Hey everyone, welcome to my very first devlog. I'm in a game which I programmed called Disaster Labs. It's a game where you experiment with different disasters and try to survive them by building, utilizing different blocks. I feel like now that I'm a lot better at developing, I could really improve this game and improve the way it functions amongst other things. So the first thing I wanna fix is Professor Nato here, who like does a bunny hop at some point. I have no idea what's going going on with him but he messes up at some point um i just have to like get out of these rounds he like starts hopping around at some point let's see if i can actually catch him there there he is now he starts running really funky like nato what's going on why does that happen um i really want to fix this npc i really want to learn more about npc movements so that's what i'm going to be focusing on for this devlog so i've opened up disaster labs in studio and i'm actually really scared to open up the code and look at it because Ashley and I, we put together this game in, in about 30 days. <laughs> so it's definitely in some kind of alpha state. And oh, look at this. We found Professor Nato's like um, walking path already. So I have Nato like walking to these different blocks here. And it seems like over here, it gets all messed up. And I, I don't quite understand why, but we're going to learn a little bit and play around with Nato and make him walk correctly and possibly make him run around the entirety of our disaster labs complex take a look at the whole thing. <laughs> the Disaster Labs complex used to have a dome around it, but I couldn't figure out how to make the water and the lava rise around the dome only, so we had to turn it square. Hopefully, maybe one day I can figure that out. So I know the first thing I want to do is just rewrite my whole script all over again. And I want my scientist to move from point number two to point number four that I have specified here. And so I want, so first I want my scientist to walk here. I want it to print a message on the output saying that, hey, I moved to this part. Now I'm going to move to the next part. And then I want him to walk over here and say, hey, I finished now. So let's play the game and see what happens. Okay, he moved to point one. Now he's moving to point two. He seems to be running very normal. Oh, but now the movement keeps repeating over and over again. Uh, uh, okay, everyone, here's my script to get the NPC moving. Um, there was an issue I was running into, sort of an advanced thing. Um, let me go ahead and comment this out, and I'll show you like how I had my code. And so what I had before was um, this kind of like move to finish connect, and then we move the scientist. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it print some values every time the scientist moves. And what you're going to find is I have this looping, and what happens is we don't disconnect this function. So it starts giving Scientist NATO multiple points to go through exponentially over and over and over again, and Scientist NATO starts to get confused. So let me show you what that looks like in game. So in game, we start moving from point two to point three to point four to point five, and then point one, two, six, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're just exponentially giving more and more points for Scientist NATO to run to. And eventually, look, the server just gets really laggy. Um, we have a memory leak going on here. And every time the server is going to lag twice as long here, and we're just going to crash the game as he runs back and forth. So let's fix that. So the reason why that kept happening is because this connect function kept looping on itself over and over and over again. So it created one loop, then two loops, then four loops, then eight loops, then 16, 32, 64, 128, etc. So that's why I set up a variable called move connection. I said if move connection exists, then let's disconnect that connection. And then every time we loop, let's set the move connection to this move to finish connect function. And it should just happen one time. Let's play it and see if it works. And so now Scientist NATO is running from point to point. We've got point two, point three, point four, and now we're going to run to point five, which is right here. Then we're going to run to point number six, and then we should run back to point number one. And he's not doing any weird skipping or hopping, anything like that. That was a little bit weird there, but maybe there was some slight lag. Let's see what goes on. Point one, two, three, four. Now we're running to point four, run to point five, and maybe we can make this smoother somehow. But now I'm curious, like what if I put a wall in front of him? What would happen? Let's see here. This is where we lagged out point six and then on to point one. So there's a small pause in calculating, but it does just fine. I'm satisfied with this movement here. We fixed him finally. We could probably change these pathways and um, yeah, let's test out like putting a wall or something. So let's place a part down. 
Um, let's anchor it as well, and then let's create a wall for Scientist NATO, and let's see exactly what happens here when he tries to run from point number five to point number six. Are you going to try to jump over this? What's going to happen? Um, nope, you just run straight into the wall, so that's not cool. How do we solve this issue? Oh, he reset and just went to point number one, so that wasn't much of an issue. But hmm, how do we get him to run around this wall? Okay, so I've got the wall added, and I'm going to make him walk straight from here to point number six. What's different is that we're now using the pathfinding service versus just using the move to method that's attached to humanoids. So let's see if it works. Scientist NATO's begun walking and has walked around the wall. Wow. Okay. Now let's make the wall like solid all the way through to this side. So that way he has to run around to the right hand side to get to his point. Let's see if that works. All right. Scientist NATO is running and he's going to the wow. He runs right around the wall. Awesome. Pathfinding service is so cool. Okay, so now I've made it so that way we can visualize the waypoints. Um, it's just gonna add a new part that's neon and goes to the same position as the waypoint. So let's see if that works. So when NATO runs, you can see his current pathway. You can see he runs, runs around the wall here. And now I just have to make this script loop. All right, so I've got my scientist NATO running the pathway. It's working all right. And now let's see if he uh, will walk around this wall here at the end that we've got placed down. And yes, he will. And then will he walk back around to go back to point one? Yes, he will. Good job, scientist NATO. But then something happens a little bit later. So uh, it, let's see if it happens here. There it is. It's happening. Now it's slowing down one point, one grueling point at a time. Like what happens? Is this why scientist NATO ends up hopping at the very end? Then he starts working fine again. Like what happens at those points that makes him slow down so much? So we're gonna have to find out what causes this. Okay, so now we do not have any more lag issues with our NPC. He runs without any problems. And I'll tell you guys what the issue was. The reason was because you need to set your NPC network ownership to the server by setting it to nil. And so since our server is now in full control of the NPC and it's not set to like auto, that switches between the nearest client and the server, now our scientist can run all willy-nilly and free. So now what I'd like to do is be able to test his uh, pathfinding capabilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this and then see if this dynamically changes to move paths. And so let's see if it does that. Perfect. And then I want to be able to move this um, when we pretty much run from a straight line from here to there. So let's let's block here and then let's see if he runs around. OK, he runs around there. And then I want to be able to move this as he's trying to path. So let's move it again. OK, he ran right through it. All right. So let's move this wall around and try to block his way. So he's running and then we're gonna block his way again. Oh, and he retraces his path. Okay, so let's try Let's continue to try to block Professor Nato. And he seems to keep trying to recalculate his path, but um, I keep getting errors here. He keeps trying to recalculate, but let's see how we're doing, how we're doing. Nope, we completely erred. We completely broke Scientist Nato. <laughs> All right, so I think I've got him working pretty good. So let's go ahead and just inconvenience him and he'll keep recreating the path as he needs to. Let's try and stop him from getting here. He keeps squeezing by everything. He gets to his point no matter what. All right, let's try to block him over on this side. Let's see what happens. Looking good. He's going to get through there. I did have an issue there, but I let him I let him go through. So now um, our scientist can pretty much pass through anywhere, can path around things and can adjust his path path depending oh here we go we ran into something uh oh you're not gonna make it to your destination are you come on nato oh there we go he just reset oh nice very nice okay woohoo i thought i scripted in some kind of reset thing but it takes some time so yeah i'm gonna continue slowly releasing dev logs like this um on the channel i'm gonna i'm gonna keep making this game better and better i'm gonna change the path of nato now that we definitely know what's going on here um one last thing i would like to check is just to make sure that scientist nato will run through me and that i don't block his way here and perfect. I wanted him to run through players. And there goes our lava going. And there's a few other things we're going to be improving on this game. Just follow up on this devlog. This was just the first of many. See you all next time.